I am uh, very interested in um, African inspired um, decorations or decor because I feel that it's a part of me. Now, uh, being a person that have never been to Africa, uh, what you see in my home is what I feel I like. I'm not a person you walk in and it's all African inspired because I have a, I'm, I'm sort of eclectic because my African inspired is mixed with um, Asian. Um, as I travel, I bring works back from every place I go. So I have masks on my wall from Indonesia. I have um, uh, artwork that's from Ecuador. I have, you know, so, but to me, it, it goes with the color and the blend. And if it feels like it all is connected, I, I pull it in. Uh, with most of the things I have are from Africa, but I pull in a lot of other pieces that go along with that. Yeah, that's really interesting because part of our part of our idea of an African inspired mm -hmm. design is a personal approach, mm -hmm. and to the extent that uh, we begin to describe ourselves as casual or we describe ourselves as as classic or contemporary. Um, do you think about yourselves in those terms? Do you, do you sort of segment your, your own point of view in terms of your style? Can, um, can, you, can you define it? it? It's hard because I do like contemporary things, but I, I live in a house that's over 100 years old. So <laughs> I, I am dealing like traditional things too. And um, so I, I tend to go with what I feel. If I look at something and it makes me feel good and I, I know there's a place for it in my home, I bring it in. I'm, um, I am a person that can be out and and think, okay, I want to find something in particular and actually go out and find that. Uh, and not that I know it was there, but I know what I'm looking for, shapes and, and things uh, like that. One of the things I love to do is to, um, I have a couple of friends and we love to go and almost uh, bargain hunt for things that someone else has had and they don't realize what a treasure it was, and you bring it in and it fits in, you know? So I enjoy doing that, and just finding pieces that make me feel good. And a lot of times I'll have a piece and we'll bring it home and sit it down and won't place it until I feel where it should go. You know, so I don't just immediately come home and put it out. You know, and I'll keep some pieces for a month or two months, and then maybe walk by a wall in the house and go, oh, okay, that looks good right Then I'll go get it, then I'll put it up. You know, so it's one of those things where I, I, I decorate from how I feel. Okay. And luckily, my husband let me do, do that. He doesn't bother me too much. That's, that's, that would probably be my next question, too, is, is how important is that? How important is that your own sort of reflects your own personality and style? You know, what, what it, important is, situation? it is very important to me because uh, when I come home, I want uh, my friends, family to, to feel what I feel. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I do, you know, even though I can only really say that my husband allows me to do that, I make sure that he's involved too, you know, the things he likes, and, and so I make sure that's in, in what I put in into the home.